Hey folks, Crazy Clive Rady here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Ajax. This was also known as Typhoon. This was created by Konami in 1987. And this was requested by YouTube user Martin Hernandez. This is a kind of cool uh, vertically scrolling shooter. It's kind of a combination of Tiger Heli and uh, Xevious. And uh, you pilot this chopper through eight different stages. And uh, you can pick up various weapon ups. Some are very, very cool. And uh, you can increase the power of your bomb. And it can have slightly wider range. Uh, it can cover more ground. Um, I had never seen or hor of... <clears throat> I had never seen or heard of this game until recently. Um, but it's not bad. It's kind of cool. And the game flirts with uh, scrolling uh, full-color sprites in 3D, like you see in this stage. And there's, I think, three different stages where they do that. And uh, those stages are quite a bit easier than uh, the other stages where you where it's just vertically scrolling shooter um, you can kind of if you've ever played space harrier you could kind of employ the same strategy in these uh, stages and do relatively well and there will be a boss at the end of each level including the 3d uh, scrolling ones like that uh, note that at the bottom, there's a uh, meter that shows the different uh, power-ups you could pick up. It's not like uh, Gradius, you know, another Konami game, um, in which uh, you keep uh, picking up power-ups until the marker lands on the, uh, the uh, power-up that you want. Um, you can have bomb up and uh, a sp uh, weapon increase at the same time, which is nice. Um, you also have a third button, not just bomb and fire, but a third button, and you can use what's called POW, and that really, really, really causes some damage, which is very nice, but you can only use it like, I think you can use it a total of two times, and you'll get it replenished uh, at the beginning of each stage or or no uh, after you die I think but uh, you'll want to you want to save it for like a boss or like an enemy that's very tough and we're getting started here um, there will uh, sometimes be there's the there's the Vulcan See it's uh, you see it's highlighted or it's uh, flashing at the bottom. Uh, there will be uh, sometimes red choppers that come down at you that you can shoot and collect those power ups, and you'll see its letter indicating what it is. It'll be like a V for Vulcan or an O for Option, which is an, an extra chopper to the left or right of you. There will be mini bosses, and here is a mini boss. Uh, these guys will shoot out homing missiles. Don't run into those walls! You will crash. There are very few times in the game where that can happen to you. And that is one of them, not crap. And it's very hard to get through there at a time when uh, the enemy isn't shooting at you. This game in general is, is pretty hard, it, at least for the uh, vertically scrolling sections. Just shoot that sensor and then shoot down one of these uh, floating guys. Watch out for their uh, homing missiles. Yeah, go out there when it's safe. Uh, it eventually gets very, very, very tough. The enemies fire all over the place. Uh, like around level three or so, it gets very tough to avoid their fire. You 
you can uh, you can shoot. At, there will also be opportunities to get power ups from a formation of red guys, like in uh, uh, 1942. Oh, crap. I still have one uh, pow. But uh, this game's kind of cool. It's got good music, good graphics. I do like the uh, 3D. Uh, scrolling rendering another power up option and now I have an extra chopper you can you can shoot uh, multiple bombs uh, at once I mean just just fire bomb twice and you can drop two bombs so it's it's easy to take out the ground targets you know if, if one shot misses just just keep rattling rattling them off. It's just when the bullets start flying all over the place is when it gets really tough. Now here is the boss. And I saved up my my remaining pal for this sucker. For those 3D scenes, uh, stages, you don't get to use your pal. And you don't have, see that was over quick. And you don't have uh, access to your special weapons like the Vulcan or your three-way or whatever, which kind of sucks, but the, those levels are really quite easy anyway. You don't really need it. And here we go. I do I do think this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool graphics for 1987. And again, you can kind of picture a space harrier in your mind. And you can do fairly well with this stage. The uh, missiles are a little faster than they look. <laughs> I got caught thinking uh, uh, when I played this earlier that uh, that they were really slow. And they're a little faster than you think. They can they can still take you out. So don't stop moving. And then just bomb the hell out of uh, out of this uh, battle ship here. Try to circle around and shoot at the uh, shoot and bomb at the uh, flashing sensor. You'll eventually take it out. There you go. It looks like you flew backwards, which was weird. And this stage is where it starts to get a little hard. Not yet. Um, there will be a point where invisible enemies will start shooting big blasts at you like there while the rest of the enemies are also shooting at you. You can shoot those enemies. You can't really see them but you can shoot where the shots are coming out and I did not know that here. But it starts to get really hard there. Later on it gets much tougher. <laughs> uh, like I said there's a total of eight stages and uh, I didn't get past this one. I will, I will skip for, uh, forward and show you, uh, show you uh, snippets of what the rest of the game looks like. Show you the bosses. Like I said, there's I think like two more, uh, two more of the uh, 3D sprite scaling, uh, whatever uh, uh, levels including the last one. But, uh, oop, game over. You can continue, but I'm not going to. I mean, I didn't continue on this game, but I, I showed clips of another game I played, and uh, I played all the way through that time. And my initials are US. And uh, yeah, let me show you the rest of the game in just a second. It is Ajax by Konami in 1987. Those little characters underneath the, where it says Ajax are Japanese katakana for Ajax. <laughs> and again, this game was also known as Typhoon, but I'm pretty sure it was mostly known as Ajax. And now at this point on stage three, 
there will be planes that drop these uh, giant missiles and they split off into separate homing missiles. They can be kind of a pain in the butt. Now here I've got a three-way shot for my, uh, for me and my uh, um, little mini chopper, my option. Whoa! <laughs> here uh, you got to take out those those side uh, cannons or whatever and that'll remove that laser field and then you can shoot the uh, main target and that is stage three's boss Sorry, I'm eating pizza in your ear. <laughs> now this is uh, stage four. And I'll, I'll show you the boss of stage four in a little bit. Now here is, uh, here is the uh, triple shot. And it's like missiles that you shoot every time that you fire, which is kind of nice. Then you get to this part where uh, there's a waterfall and you have to take out these uh, these three sensors while you're getting fired upon. But that's the mini boss. I'll show you the actual boss here. And look at all those shots. Jeez, this game starts to get really hard. I, I used uh, invincibility by this point just to, just to hurry up the game along so you can see the rest of it. Move on to stage 5. And uh, here's another uh, Space Harrier type, uh, I'll just call it a Space Harrier type of uh, 3D uh, level. This one's uh, along the ground. This isn't from the sky moving down to the ground, but now we go towards this uh, this giant uh, space or this giant uh, air fortress. You just keep circling around and shooting it so you can avoid its shots and cause damage. Now it's on to stage six, which is over a desert, and then eventually over canyons. Thing. And more of those uh, giant missiles that split up into a bunch of small homing missiles. Which could be a real pain in the ass. There is laser. Laser is very nice. You really don't have to keep hitting the fire button with it. Just hold it down and it'll fire a nice long missile uh, one at a time. And they can be very powerful on the bosses. Oh, on this dam you have to you have to bomb it on the sensor. Then the water drains out and then you face the boss. Yeah, you can increase the power of your bomb so it's more widespread and can maybe take out two uh, two ground targets at once. the end of that level. Now I go on to stage 7. Stage 7 is another uh, vertically scrolling level and then stage 8 which is the last stage will be a 3D uh, sprite scaling whatever you want to call it level uh, space harrier type level. And there is the boss. You have to take out those four sensors and they'll, they'll fire uh, four shots at you and then you have to face the boss. Those sensors will drop that thing and it'll morph into some weird grody thing with a dog nose. You have to shoot its sensor, avoid those uh, green shots, and just keep weaving back and forth and shooting its sensor. 
Not a particularly hard boss. Now we go to the final stage. And it is in space. You hear uh, regular shots don't really do much. You want to use your uh, your bombs, and you'll uh, you'll come towards this uh, space fortress. You want to keep circling around and firing like crazy, firing and maybe bombing. You'll eventually take it out. There we go. And now we get to see the end. That is Ajax by Konami in 1987. A pretty cool uh, vertically scrolling and sometimes uh, 3D sprite scaling uh, Space Harrier type of uh, game. Peace. <laughs> Groovy dude. <laughs> But uh, I like some of the power-ups in this game. Not a, not a bad game at all for 1987. Again, this was also called Typhoon. But I think that Ajax was its much more common name. Well, that was Ajax by Konami in 1987. This was requested by YouTube user Martin Hernandez. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Ajax by Konami 1987, also known as Typhoon. And we'll catch you later in the future with another video. See you then, folks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.